A ladder leans against a vertical wall. The top of the ladder slides down at a rate of 2.5 feet per second. How is the angle of elevation of the ladder changing when the base of the ladder is five feet from the wall? Looking at the diagram below, let's label all three sides of the right triangle. Let's label the horizontal leg X, the vertical leg Y, and the hypotenuse, which would be the length of the ladder Z. The angle of elevation is this angle here in the right triangle. Let's label the angle of elevation theta. And now let's go back to the given information. The top of the ladder slides down at a rate of 2.5 feet per second. So the top of the ladder here is moving down at a rate of 2.5 feet per second. Notice how this indicates that dy dt equals negative 2.5 feet per second. We know it's negative because y is decreasing by 2.5 feet per second. We're trying to determine the change in the angle of elevation, which is d theta dt, right when the base of the ladder is five feet from the wall, meaning when x equals five feet. There's one more important thing to notice here. We don't have the length of the ladder, but z is a constant because the length of the ladder is not going to change. And now we need to write an equation involving the angle theta and we do want to include the hypotenuse, or z, because this is a constant, meaning it's not going to change in value. We also want to include y because we know dy dt is negative 2.5 feet per second. So using the angle theta and these two sides of the right triangle, notice how y is the opposite side and z is the hypotenuse, and therefore we are going to use the equation sine theta is equal to y divided by z. And now because we're looking for d theta dt, we will differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. We have the derivative of sine theta with respect to t equals the derivative of y divided by z with respect to t. But again, because we know z is a constant, I'm gonna write y divided by z as one divided by z times y. And now let's differentiate both sides with respect to t. On the left, when differentiating sine theta with respect to t, we need to apply the chain rule, and therefore we'll have an extra factor of d theta dt. The derivative of sine theta with respect to theta is cosine theta. And because we're differentiating with respect to t, we have times d theta dt equals on the right, again, because we know z is a constant, I'm going to treat one divided by z as a constant, and therefore the derivative with respect to t is going to be one divided by z times dy dt. Again, I'm treating z as a constant. For example, if z was, let's say, 10, the derivative of one-tenth times y with respect to t would be one-tenth times dy dt. So again, we're treating z as a constant here because we know it is a constant. We know it's the length of the ladder. We just don't know what that length is. And now we need to solve the equation for d theta dt. But let's first work with cosine theta. Going back to the right triangle, notice cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be x divided by z. So let's replace cosine theta with x divided by z, which gives us x divided by z times d theta dt equals one divided by z times dy dt. And now to solve for d theta dt, we multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of x divided by z, which is z divided by x. And now simplifying on the left, the product of the two reciprocals is one, leaving us with d theta dt equals, on the right, notice how the z's actually simplify out, z divided by z simplifies to one, leaving us with just one divided by x times dy dt. And now we can determine d theta dt because we're trying to find d theta dt when x is five feet and dy dt is negative 2.5 feet per second. 
This gives us one divided by five times negative 2.5, which is equal to negative one half. And this is measuring the change in the angle with respect to time in seconds. And therefore the units here are radians per second. So if the top of the ladder is sliding down at a rate of 2.5 feet per second, right when the base of the ladder is five feet from the wall, the change in the angle of elevation is negative one half radians per second, or we can say the angle of elevation is decreasing at a rate of one half radian per second. I hope you found this helpful.